for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. What I'm picking up for you got for Pisces, um, I'm getting this energy of closure. Some type of cycle that needs to it needs to end. Um, maybe closing a chapter in a book. Um, that's the energy I'm picking up. And this could be you, someone coming towards you like this, or it could be um, the person that you're dealing with. But some cycle needs to to come to completion, or it's about to. So let's get into the reading and see where this is going. So for the present time coming up towards the end of June, we got Judgment and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so judgment is a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and judgments that are too hastily made. They're made too fast, too easy, too quick. And if you know you're prone to doing this, it's a sign that you need to slow down, give things more thought, and give people more chances. Now, this could also be a time of spiritual awakening, this judgment card. And it's with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands... It's a great time for travel if you can get away. You'll be feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your confidence is at a peak or it's increasing and it'll help reach towards any goals that you have. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind the Knights, they're often message bearers. The messages are positive, could be related to work or career, or it could go either way. Any projects that you have, they're likely to be more successful than you would have expected or predicted. So you're going to have a lot of reasons to feel pride, so savor it. So basically, Judgment and Knight of Wands for the present time, with these two cards paired together, it's basically saying that um, if, if you're dealing with someone with judgment, judgment here, it could be at a make or break period because there's not enough forgiveness and there's too much jumping to conclusions uh, and it could be because you're you're dealing with the knight of wands now the knight of wands is fearless brave this person could be aries leo sagittarius very confident type type the knight of wands is also known as in and out uh, player very charming um, yeah, so you could be, you could be dealing with, uh, somebody that juggles in and out. They've got more than one. You could be. Let's take a look at the rest of the reading and see what, what it's trying to tell us about this Knight of Wands. Now, if you're dealing with someone, they see you like the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. They see you like the, um, I'm sorry, the Fool card and the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Fool card, it's always an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it, it sh indicates purity, open-hearted energy, and innocence of a child. We know children, they're trusting, and trust forms the basis for this card. It's usually a positive card in the tarot, but it's going to be important for you to take time and be sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. Real big mistake. And if you look at the picture on this card, you can see it can be a big mistake. This young man, it looks like he's about to walk off of a cliff. He could be hiking in the mountains. And what's below him is all blue water. It looks like a huge ocean. A water of eternity. So he's about to take a take a leap into the unknown, and um, he's about to land in a very wet place, wet, wet, wet and deep place, and who knows what happens after that. So it looks like the Pacific Ocean, but <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, this card is about taking a leap, and that's what he's doing. Now, this is how your person sees you, one of the ways. They see you as, you're ready to just jump right in. Yeah. Now, it's with the Ace of Pentacles, and I can see why, because you're ready for a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles is likely 
to find you enjoying new beginnings on several levels. Now, this is a very positive new beginning. And you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things are going well. You could be starting something new very soon. And this could be in the area of work or it could be personally. But either way, it's a really, really good thing. I like the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, you see the picture of the Ace of Pentacles. It's below the ACU. It looks like uh, it probably rained. There's a forest. There's a big pinnacle sitting in a forest with a bunch of trees. And it looks like it could have rained all day and all night or maybe for a few days. And everything looks brand new again. And the squirrel looks like he just came out from hiding from all the rain. And he's like, wow. Finally, I got this new day I've been waiting for. It's here. The rain has cleansed every cleansed the earth. And I can start new again. So, yeah, so they see you like this also, the Ace of Pentacles. You're ready to just jump right in. You're ready, you're ready, you're ready. Because you see new beginning potential. And you know that new beginnings can happen. And um, if not a new beginning, the connection rises to new and better heights. You two real will reconnect with the Ace of Pentacles here. And yeah, you're going for it. Yeah, now let's take a look at how you see them. We just talked about how they see you. But let's see how you see them. You see them like the World card and the Queen of Pentacles. Now this World card, it's about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So don't quit now even when because you're so close. Don't quit now. You're probably in need of some well-deserved rest, rest and relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. Because you're getting really close to who you are at your deepest levels. In terms of work, it's a good chance that you're working too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case to blow your own horn, blow or toot your own horn a little. And this will make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So, you see them as needing to close out some chapters. Yeah, complete some cycles. End some journeys. Or end a journey. Close some chapters. Now, it's with the Queen of Pentacles. This card, it can indicate that you'll be spending time, money, energy on your home. Getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. Because people will be looking to you for insight and or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. Because this is a time period when you get a whole lot accomplished. A whole lot. So you also see them like the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, your person wants comfort with you. They don't want to fight. They don't want any drama. Uh, they want this connection to be caring, sensible, very down to earth. But you see that they need to close out some chapters. Or close out a chapter maybe with someone else that they might be dealing with or they might have in their energy they need to end a journey complete that cycle but you know that they want comfort and they don't want any conflict conflict with you so let's take a look at why it's happening why it's happening because of the Six of Cups and the King of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups, it's a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, maybe one of the reasons it's happening because this connection needs to be refocused towards the future. Talk about your goals and dreams. Try new things. Or it could be because the Six of Cups is, a, is about happy memories. There could be a lot of happy memories between you and your person. And your person probably feels like they've known you in a past life before. Very familiar. Now, it's with the King of Cups, it speaks of a balance. 
Male and feminine energy, it holds all positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. If it's referring to a man in your life, he'll represent a lot. He'll represent um, a very kind and loving man. Uh, generally, generally, or usually, he'll have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in many ways, seen and unseen. This King of Cups, it's all about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation, when this card appears. So nurture yourself. Allow others to nurture you. Um, so this is the other reason why it's happening. There's some warm, friendly, tolerant energy that I'm, that I'm picking up for this reading. This could be you or your person. And a lot of happy memories here. Familiarity. Like you've known this person from the past. From a past life or something. Now, let's recap the reading so that we can hopefully get a complete picture. Because it's kind of all over the place, I know. So, basically, Pisces, for, we talked about the present time, jumping to conclusions, not offering enough forgiveness. Um, this could be you, I'm picking up. But it looks like you're ready to just jump right into this connection. Because you see that it has great potential to be a wonderful reconnection or... It's, it offers new beginnings, and that's how they see you. And then you see them as um, they need to cl close some chapters in their life. They need to uh, complete a cycle. Could maybe they're this is this is an example. Maybe they're married. They need to close out that chapter. Um, maybe they have a girlfriend or girlfriends, which I'm picking up because we got the Knight of Wands. They could they could be dealing with other people. Knight of Wands is a player in and out type of energy. So they need to close out those chapters. Because you're ready to just jump right into this connection. You, you you like this person. They like you too. They want comfort. They don't want they don't want any conflict with you. But you know they need to close the doors on some some Maybe issues that they're dealing with, or it could be other people. I'm picking up it's other people because the Knight of Wands is here. And it causes you to jump to a lot of conclusions about this person. And it's hard for you to forgive. So you want them to close out some chapters with other, other things, other people, in some journeys with other things, other people. Yeah. And they want this. They want they want a comfortable connection with you. They want uh, peace with you. And they find you very um, familiar. And they want to offer you a cup of love with the King of Cups here. Yeah. And you two, you probably have known each other in the past life with the Six of Cups here. The person, they, they want to offer you a cup of love, but... Um, they see that you're ready to jump right in. They don't like that you jump to conclusions a lot. But you kind of have to do that because um, until they close out these other chapters with the other people or the other situations, end a journey, close that book, complete some cycles. Yeah, because they got this in and out energy. But, but they looks like they could be almost ready to close out those cycles because they want peace and comfort with you. They're ready to offer you that cup of love with the King of Cups. And this could be a past life connection with the with the uh, Six of Cups here. Or this could be a past person come, coming back to reconnect. Because the Six of Cups uh, just a little side note about this card. On occasions, it signifies the reappearance of a long-lost love. Yeah, so someone could be coming back, or this could be the person that you're dealing with. They're ready to offer you a cup of love. They don't want any drama. You just know they need to close out some chapters and stop the in-and-out energy. And they could be doing this because they want comfort.
They don't like when you jump to conclusions like that. So Pisces, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. And then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. To try one of those. To try one of those.